Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last did a video and I've also noticed how many subscribers I've got. 1,938. So thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. I can remember when I felt privileged to have 100. So that is a brilliant achievement for me and I really appreciate it. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to work with multiple filters in Video Studio X7. So you'll see I've got my video clip loaded up here and this is the timeline where I've got it and basically a filter is something that you add to the video to adjust it in some way shape or form whether it is to enhance it to add something to it like rain um, or to just adjust it in some way like removing the anti shake or maybe the auto exposure auto level on it um, so yeah you you'd you'd insert these to improve and add to your video clip um, so what I'm going to do is drag one in, I'm going to use the auto level and I'm going to put that on top of the video. This is inside the FX filter area on the software. Now I now want to put another filter on here but you'll notice that if you do this it will overwrite the first filter that you put on. So that is something which you need to change in the settings. So what you do is you left click on your video go on options and you'll see here it says replace last filter you need to untick this because that is essentially removing the first filter that you've applied when you apply the next filter so you'll see I've got auto level on there um, and I also want to put um, the cloud filter on so I'm now going to insert that and you'll see it's also got the cloud as well as the auto level on so that is how you get around that and that's how you can apply as many filters as you want so that is how you work with multiple filters in Video Studio X7. Thanks for watching.